Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you all what I pack for long car journeys. So we're going away and I wanted to show you what I pack for me and the boys to take in the car for going on holiday, things that you need more to hand. So I have done some busy bags for the boys that I will go through and show you everything. So my boys are eight, six and four. So I have put things in for them that is age appropriate for them to play with and things. Obviously I'm not in the nappy stage or anything anymore. But yeah, so this is for that sort of age range. And then I will just go through afterwards and show you exactly what I put in my bag of things that I keeping my handbag and things that I want to keep to hand whilst we are in the car and then obviously whilst we're there as well so I will go through all of that for you and just to say if you are not subscribed then it would mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the like button as well if you do enjoy this video so I will get on with it now and show you exactly what I've got in the boys bags first and then I will show you exactly what I'm packing in my bag so I have laid it all out um, for each of the boys. They have got one of these coloured bags that I picked up from Asda that were just £2 each. So I got the different colours. I got actually got the boys' favourite colours so they'll know exactly whose is whose. And I thought these would be great because they'll come in handy for after the holiday when they are at school. These bags, you know, for swimming, they're just those little drawstring swim bags. So I thought they were going to be good anyway. They're going to come in. So I have got to go in there. All slightly different things, but pretty much the same. But obviously their interests vary slightly and their ages are all different. So in Dills, I picked up this, which I got from Home Bargains, which I thought was really, really good. A little travel game, Who Is It? Which is obviously the Guess Who. Um, but I thought for 99p, that is brilliant. Him and Toby especially like to play that archie is a little bit young i don't know whether he'll get it yet or not but i thought that was really good they might have had other ones as well but i just saw this one and then in toby's i got connect four four and a line if they called it here i don't know what how the quality is of them but i thought to play in the car that would work quite nicely and when we get to the caravan because we're staying in a caravan they can still get this out and have a game as well. So I thought they were great for 99p. I also have a water bottle in each of their bags because they're obviously gonna get thirsty in the car. It's gonna be a really hot day as well. And I will not put juice or anything in because they will just end up drinking it all really, really quickly and needing the toilet straight away. So I will make sure that I just put water in them. That's all they're allowed when they're in the car. So they'll have a bottle of water each. I have also put in a couple of snacks. So I picked up these just because they're just a little bit more of a treat. They will feel like they're having a bit something a bit more special because it's in one of these little pots and they all love Pringles. And then just some party rings. The journey for us isn't actually that long so I don't need to put loads and loads of stuff in but I might put in some fruit as well. And just before we go I can cut up some some of their favourite food to take with them but they shouldn't need loads and loads to eat. They'll probably eat just before we go to be honest so they shouldn't need too much. And another thing that I have actually just put together is this, which doesn't have snacks in it. I just picked this box up. I got one for each of them from Home Bargains, again, for 99p. Again, these boxes are going to come in after the holiday. They can be used when they're back at school and on picnics and things. But I actually use this to put Lego in for a little travel Lego set. And then inside this... It has got this on the lid. So I just cut up one of the baseboards. But I put one of these together for Dylan and for Archie because they both like Lego. Toby's not really that into it. But I just thought when they are in the car, they can build whatever they like. And then obviously they have it all in one and they can put the lid back on. And I just thought that was a really cute little idea to keep all the Lego in one place and to be able to build something and take a little bit with them. I thought that's gonna keep them busy for a little while. So that is a little something that I put together. I put one for Archie and one for Dylan. And then I included some books for Dylan. He's got a sticker book, which has got also other puzzles and things in. A dot to dot colouring book. And a little Lego book that he can have a read through. They do have their Switches. Their Nintendo Switches that I don't know whether I'm going to give them when they're in the car. It'd be quite nice if they just maybe tried to keep busy doing other things. So this is what this bag will hopefully come in for. 
And then with Toby's bag, he has obviously got the same, he's got, he's got a fruit winder instead, but he has got his water bottle and the Connect Four. And then instead of doing Lego or anything, because it's not really for him, I picked up this National Geographic Kids Puzzle Book. So Animal fo Fact Packed Fun. And this has got loads of things in that should be hopefully okay for his age because he likes doing little puzzles now. So I picked this up off Amazon. I will link everything I can below. But I thought this was quite good and should keep him busy, especially if we have a rainy day because we probably will. That's just UK weather, isn't it? So he can do a little puzzle here and there just to keep him busy. It's got word searches, spot the differences. I just thought that was a good little book for him. And he has got his book to read, which is David Williams. He is just making his way through all the David Williams books. So he can take that with him as well. And he can read it whilst we're there. And he can read it, obviously, in the car if he wants to. And then with Archie's, it's all pretty similar. But I have all the pens and pencils. I'll probably put in Archie's because he's the one who's most likely to do most of the drawing and things. He's got a different flavour. Pringles, bless him. There's his little Lego kit, and then he's just got a colouring book, a little sticker activity book, and some colour by numbers dinosaurs. So, again, plenty to keep them busy whilst they're in the car, and hopefully, when they get there as well. And that is pretty much everything that I'm going to take for them. If it was a longer journey, I would probably include a few more things. I did notice some really cool ideas to do like bingo on the way you can have pictures of things to spot for the kids to tick off so i did think that was quite a nice little idea as well so i may print some of that off but that is what they are taking in their little busy bags Just to run it through what I am taking in my bag, I'm actually taking this little backpack which is really really cute. I got it from Primark a little while back now. I always find it really good to take to centre parks and little day trips and things and it holds loads and then it's got this little pouch that goes at the front here like so. So yeah, I find this really good for keeping all the things in on a day trip with the kids. So. What I am taking with me in this, I'll get into that in just a minute. But I'm obviously taking my purse. I've got this one, which is a River Island purse that I just keep for years. I'm obsessed with the purses and bags at River Island. I always think they are so, so pretty. So I'm obviously taking my purse. I am also going to be taking my camera, which obviously I'm using at the minute, but that is my camera case. So I will take that in my bag with me and I've also got my gorilla tripod that I will take with me as well so they can go in my bag to go with my cameras for if I'm going to take any photos or do any vlogging along the way. I have got my hand cream, this Neobe orange juice hand cream which I got from my latest glossy box so that will come with me as well. I've also got this which I love, I'm obsessed with, this new skin moisture mist. So this is great for just cooling you down if it's really, really hot. I also use this as a primer and a makeup setter. It's just really, really versatile. So that is great for, obviously if it's hot in the car, then you can just spray your face, cool yourself down. So that is a must to take with me. I'm taking my organizer, which I think was from b and I think it was. So this is great because it's just got this little pouch at the back which is really good for keeping any like important receipts or tickets and things in so I will take that with me I just have to take a notepad everywhere I go because I'm obsessed with making lists so keep that so if I've got anything I need to think about whilst I'm sitting in the car then I can jot it down and I've got my pen here that I just got from Amazon I think I think that was a little Amazon pen I love these girly pens with the big diamonds on the top 
so I will pop that in my bag as well. A pack of tissues, self-explanatory, you know, kids just need these things all the time. So a pack of those. I also can't go anywhere without my glasses, so I'll make sure that I put them in because if I forgot them, I really would struggle. <laughs> I've also got some antiviral hand wipes. So they are obviously great for giving everything a good wipe down if we go anywhere and obviously the kids' hands and my hands and things. It's just a necessity at the minute, isn't it? This type of thing. I actually need to get some more anti back hand gel. I need to get some more of that. So but I've got this keep in my bag. I also take my hairbrush with me. This is just the Tangle Tees one. That's just my preferred brush. So I always take that with me just to make sure that my hair doesn't get too knotty. I take a pair of socks with me, but this is for Archie. So sometimes he gets really itchy with his eczema and he loves to have, I know it's strange, but he loves a pair of socks on his hands. It just makes him stop scratching and it makes him feel better. So I always make sure to take socks with me for him. I'm also taking a scrunchie because I might want to tie my hair up if it gets really hot. So I make sure I've always got one of those on me. I take my perfume pretty much everywhere with me as well. At the minute, I am just using this Olympia. That is really, really nice. I think it's Paco Rabanne. So yeah, I will take that with me as well. The obvious face masks. You know, can't go anywhere without them. I need to get a nice, nice fancy patterned one, really. But yeah, taking the face mask with me, I need to get some more. We have got a big box of them, so I need to get some out and make sure that we take clothes with us anyway. And then I've also got my sunglasses. These ones I haven't actually worn before. I just found them before, um, but I think they are really pretty. Rose gold in pink. And I'm not 100% sure where I got these from. I think it was ASOS. Um, they're not a brand one or anything. They're not expensive, so I make sure I take them with me. I've also got this, which was also in my latest glossy box video, which I love. This is by the Beauty Crop. It is Palm Balm, and I love this because this is a multifunctional product again. So this is great for using as a blusher, eyeshadow, but I will be keeping it in there as a nice lip balm. So I've got that to take with me as well. And then just to show you what I keep in this little pouch at the front, this is just anything that I might need um, for the kids and for me. So I've got some hay fever tablets there. That is just a absolute must for me to keep with me because I am terrible with hay fever. So I keep some in my bag. I've also got some plasters. Now where we're going, obviously I've taken a small first aid kit but I've just kept some plasters just in my bag because if we're walking or anything it is not unlikely that somebody will fall over and need a plaster so I make sure to keep some of them on me all the time. I've also got Toby's blue inhaler. Now he has to have a brown inhaler every day which is in the main bag but I'm going to take a blue inhaler in my bag just in case. I mean it's unlikely that it would ever be needed but I'd much rather be safe than sorry just in case he does get breathless or anything and need a puff on this. I'll make sure to take that with me. Um, I've also got some Rennies, just because you never know if anyone's gonna need one of those either. And then I also have this, so Archie has his antihistamine prescribed to him that he has to have twice a day. So I make sure to take that with the syringe as well because he may very well get itchy in the car and need to have some Periton. So that is everything that I am taking in my bag. So I'm going to go ahead and pack that all in now. And I'll probably take a bottle of water or something with me as well, which I need to get. But yeah, there we go, guys. So there you go everyone, that is everything that I planned to take on our trip. So for long car journeys that is the sort of thing that I take for me and for the boys. I really hope you found this useful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you again for my next video. Bye guys!